Okay, as always, stop the video, see if you can do this yourself, and then we will look at it on the board. Okay, this problem is all about your special right triangles, which you can find at the very beginning of the math section on the SAT. They are printed out there like a little cheat sheet. But it's good for you to know them as well, because this one's, per, you know, this is not that bad. If you know your right triangles, it's simple. So the first thing to look at, well, they tell us that AD is 1 and DC is root 3. So we can tell just there that this figure is not drawn to scale. Now, when it says that figure not drawn to scale, you can't assume anything about uh, the angle measures or the lengths just based on appearance. You have to do some math, right? Sometimes it's even better to actually redraw uh, the figure, but we don't want to get too complicated here. So, so here's the figure. Let's say this is uh, you know, on the page. We can, on, our, uh, on the test booklet, we can write, put the one there, put the root three there, so then we look at this. We say, okay, if that's x and that's x, that means this is an isosceles triangle. That means if this is 1, well then, this is 1 as well, right? Now, uh, if we know that that's 1 and that's 1, then we know that, okay. Now, if this is 1 and this is 3, then we can redraw this triangle. Maybe it'd be easier to redraw this one like this. Now, if you remember your 30, 60, 90 triangle, you know that, well, if this is 1, then this is 2, and then this is root 3. So we know if that's 1 and that's root 3, we've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Which, is, which one's 30? Well, if you look at this, 30, 60, you can't tell because these both look like 45 degrees. So that's where real quick sketching out an actual 30, 60, 90 triangle is very useful. And so if you remember 1, 2, root 3, that means this is 30, this is 60, and this is 90.